Shaps, and welcome to the first edition of Up With The Curtain. We're on this show, The Curtain Goes Sideways. Okay, let's get right to it. He is one of Broadway's best, and as my friends say, probably the brother I never had. He's witty, writes a good rhyme, and wonderfully, as he puts it, amazing, Seth Rudetsky. It's the loudest construction. No, I know. I want to talk to you about Broadway for Orlando. The yeah. song has been out for months. We've seen the wonderful video performance. We've seen it on the DNC and on Maya and Marty. How do you arrange all these different celebrities for each different performance that you do? Uh, texting. It's a lot of texting and emailing. It's between, it's my husband and I just constantly just, that's literally our entire lives. It's just, will you please do this? Will you please do that? It's a lot of thumb, tendonitis thumb action. But everyone, I mean, everyone just says yes unless they really, you know, are not available. But everyone's been amazing about doing it. And it's kind of been fun that each one's had a different coupling of celebrities. That's right, because it's really been different about. every time, yeah. different stars. And, and I want to specifically talk about the DNC because that is a different crowd than you normally perform for. Yeah. What was that like? That was actually the loudest, most raucous crowd we had. I mean, it was crazy that Audrey got applause. We kept feeling like, do they know who Audrey is? Are they impressed that someone pregnant is standing on stage? You know, because I'm used to people not really knowing Audrey. Like, I remember I did one of the Rosie Cruises, and after the concert, some woman go, I didn't know she could sing. They only knew from the practice. Is that a private practice? Anyway, the point is, it was the most crazy, rowdy crowd we had. That was uh, that was an incredible night. So it wasn't a Broadway house. It wasn't a Broadway house, but they were like, they 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 loved it. I don't know if it was the song, the Broadway, the Equity members. I don't know what was happening. How do you decide who sings each? That's, that, that is a little difficult, but it's always worked out. My husband really relaxed me. James relaxed me because when I was first picking it, I was like, oh my God, but she doesn't belt you this. And James said, he goes, what was so fun about um, We Are the World is hearing the really totally different types of voices singing like Bob Dylan versus like Michael Jackson. So that, then I was like, oh, so I can have like Cagney and Lacey singing like right before 70J Block. Yeah. So that's how you just do it. You go like, can I have like the weirdest kind of combination of people? And you know, and I always know like the final Jesse Mueller part has to be someone fierce like 70J Block did, yeah. you know. How much so far has Broadway for Orlando raised for the LGBT? Well, James and I have made, no, I can you imagine, <laughs> only 50%. Um, I don't know the number. I know that it's made at least 100,000 because I remember hearing that recently, made That's at least 100,000. And now there's a dance remix literally in 4-4 four four, so instead of what the world needs now it goes what the world needs now and we're actually filming a full video with the people that did Beyonce's single ladies oh. so exclusive so we're hoping that's going to even raise more awareness and more money because every time it's sold it makes money so we always tell people buy it for yourself and then you can gift it to people on iTunes and the money goes to the Orlando people I've been singing it in my office non-stop for the last three months Bye -bye. in the office every day randomly you know and I'm not even doing stories about it every, <laughs> time, every time you sing it you should also donate a dollar all right, now it's time for the 11 o'clock number where we're going to play a game called the Broadway Rorschach Test. I'm going to hold up some five playbills. You have to say the first thing that comes to your mind or the first thing, first memory of the show when I hold it up. All right, first one. Ready? Peter Pan. Tina Fey, name drop. We watched live, Tina, uh, live Peter Pan at Tina Fey's apartment. Name drop. Although this, is, this playbill is much, much older than that. Yeah, but you said, That's wait, true. she's judging my first reaction. <laughs> okay. Next one, next one. Good vibrations. Just for that, I'll be very specific. <laughs> it's actually a review of the music of the Beach Boys, and it starred a young Chad Kimball and Titus Burgess in the ensemble. Next one. Never Gonna Dance. Something I never saw, but Jerry Mitchell, and then I think to myself, oh, but the good news is, Gotta Dance is coming in, which is very similar to me, although they changed the title out to halftime. So now what? Never Gonna Have Time. All right, next one. We're sitting and watching Jason play baseball. We're watching Jason play baseball. It is the revival coming. I can't wait, but oh my God, it's long. But it's two full shows that are together. It's long. Okay, the last one, I picked this one. Even though I said it was random, I picked this one on purpose. Uh, I'll be specific. All right, it was a reality show I did on TV yeah. called The Longest Title Ever. It was called Legally Blonde, The Search oh, for the Next Elwood. Woods. On Broadway. <laughs> on Broadway. Will we find her dot, dot, dot? Who knows? Yes, we will, period. On MTV, exclusively. That's it. Thank you, Seth, for joining us. And that's a wrap for the first edition of Up With The Current. See you next time.